Hello and welcome to episode 18 of Playing for Set Pieces. We are with Lilstrom and we are champions, as pretty much predicted. It's been a fantastic season. Obviously, they went down at the end of last season. Um, I took over and here we are going back up as champions. We finished on 81 points overall. We only lost one game all season, which was away at Starbuck. And then uh, we drew three, one with Frederick Strad, one with Ellison, and one with Stromgod set. Stromgod set, of course, have made it up in the playoffs. And uh, Frederick Strad, of course, have got, managed to clinch that second promotion spot, though. They were some points behind us, as you can imagine. The goal difference, the goals, the position, the number of points. It's all been a number of records, really, that have been now added to uh, Lilstrom for that performance. Um, in terms of who's gone down, oh, I should also mention that Parade Starbeck, they did not make it. They did not make it through the playoffs. And unfortunately, they are going to be spending another season in that division. But uh, yeah, Skeed, they got um, relegated, as did Stroman. Um, but like I say, we're up. But there is one game left. As you know, the last game you saw us would have been the odd game. Or well, the game against Odd. It wasn't particularly odd. We did win 3-2 in extra time. It was a bit of a bit of a clencher, I'll not lie. Um, and then after that, we've just had solid wins. 1-0 at home over Asane. 2-1 uh, at home against Mjondalen. Um, 1-0 away at Elverum. And then 1-0 uh, at home to Stromgod set. Um, as I say, they've gone up through the playoffs. And then uh, our final league game was against... Ul slash Kiza, who we managed to beat 3-0 away from home. So our form has just been phenomenal. I mean, look at it. What an absolutely wonderful season to have. Um, as you can imagine, my report is pretty good. We'll just quickly go and have a look at that at the club vision. Um, and at my performance, it's an A+. Plus. Got an A plus for the vision. Only got a C for the matches, and it says until a few more matches have been played. I guess that's because of uh, they're now looking forward to the next season because, of course, we do have a new wage budget, which is 59500 We're, of course, only spending thirty one. Um, call it thirty one and a half. It's not quite. And they've chucked $4 million into the bank as well. So these are just obviously the, the pre-budgets, but nevertheless, we've got a little bit of money to spend. Um, transfers, they're all right with them, I guess. Um, and the fans were happy, which is more so, I think, than the board, which was good, albeit slightly. Tactics, they're happy with the tactics. Um, although only a B- minus and then an A- minus in terms of the unity amongst the squad. That's one thing that, of course, has improved slightly is uh, the dressing room atmosphere is excellent, as you might imagine. Team cohesion is very good managerial support is finally excellent um if we have a quick look at the pyramid hurrah most people support me except poor old Sinian, who of course wanted to leave and i wouldn't let him so that's fair enough um compared to how it was before when i showed you this is a great great improvement so yeah, the final game of our season at least is the Norgesmesterskoppa final. We are against Bran. Um, I'm not sure where it is being played, but Bran, if we take a quick look at them, uh, they've been pretty solid the last few seasons in terms of uh, their position in the uh, Elite Syrian in Norway. I believe they actually finished this year second. We'll have a quick look at their overall. So yeah, they finished third, sorry, here, according to that, not second. Sorry, that would have been 2020. They finished second, so um, they're up there. They were predicted, funnily enough, to finish third, and that's exactly where they've ended up, so that's quite interesting. Um, although, is that all the games? I guess it must be. Anyway, but, oh, no, it can't be because uh, there's still a decision to be made. So, no, they, they've still got some fixtures left then, judging by that. Viking are down, but uh, Christian, Sund are not. Um, and, obviously, we've got... Champions Rosenborg, we're going to be uh, challenging them this season. Um, and then Hargesund have already qualified for Europe, so I guess it's a matter of between Bran and Mould. Although there can't be that many games left. Anyway, I'm, I don't know if there's any... Actually, probably even better actually have a look at their uh, schedule and see. Oh, they got two games left. They've got the final, but they've also got a game against Sarpsborg. 08. So, okay, apparently it is still all to play for as far as they're concerned. Um, but nevertheless, they are uh, 
um, opponent for today, and they are actually, in fact, favourites for it. We've had excellent form. Their form has been inconsistent. Hopefully, that will make a difference. As far as since the game has started, i.e. I, before I actually joined Lilstrom. Um, in terms of games played and games won, Brand have won three and we've drawn one, and Lilstrom have yet to win. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, really, other than uh, we're obviously up against it. We're not necessarily expected to win this, but uh should be good fun. OK, it is time for the Norgamesh Deskoba final. It has been played at Ullaval Stadium in Oslo. And, uh, yeah, Lilstrom against Brand. In goal, it's Amada. Back four of Kain Mikkelsen, Egan Rismark, Sinian and Solquist. Left wing, Odemark's back and central midfield, Krogstad and Easy. And outright, it's Tudor. Up front, we've got Solbakken and Arga. Um, as you can see, we've got a few people on their yellow card limits here. Um, quite a few people, I would suggest. But uh, it is actually pretty much a first choice side for this match. So uh, I don't know how many issues Brown have in terms of injuries. But, uh, well, that's that's what we're putting out. So uh, without further ado, well, according to my uh, assistant manager, we should be proving a point. Go on, let's prove for everyone that we're winners. Let's see some quality finishing. Control of the midfield. And solid defensive work. And uh, that's some good motivation. I'd like to see a bit more from my front too, but uh, those two young men have been fantastic this season, so uh, hopefully they've got one more good game in them. Um, again, no real expectations to win this. We are the underdogs, but we've gotten this far. We've gotten this far, so let's go for it. Lilstrom in the yellow with the black shorts and Brown are in their all red kit. Let's just pause this and put it on full match just where we start off. It is a Brown kickoff. And we see how things go. Peterson with a clearance phones Fran Tudor. It's nice to see him back after injury. Oh, Odermark's back and now coming forward. He's got support on his left. Got ball forward for Tudor, but it's been disallowed for offside. I got excited then. I really did. That would have been a lovely, lovely way to start this match. But lovely ball from Odermark's back and, but unfortunately, well, you can see there how far offside he was. Bless him. Clearly wants to do well this match. Good for you, Tudor. It's good to have you in the side again. Peterson with a goal kick for Bran. Almost finds Chu. Tudor tries to get it back, but. It is Brand now coming forward. Krogstad dispossesses them. And the ball is back with Lilstrom. Odermark's back and finds Kind Milstrom. Ball forward for Solbakken. Solbakken forces a corner. Okay. Krogstad to take it. Oh, doesn't touch anybody. It's going to be a free kick. Uh, a goal kick, even. Well, we're two minutes in and we're looking pretty solid. Peterson with a goal kick. I wonder if I should just go on to uh, key highlights now. We're definitely winning the ball. Certainly in the air. Grogard coming forward for Brown. This furthest forward they've been. Haugen. They're looking to keep possession and build up. But uh, ball for nobody to chase. You know what? I'm going to go key highlights and see how we get on. I feel like I want to suggest we get creative too. Oh, we've had one shot, one on target. That's something. And I wonder if we should be playing a bit more positively. Just because we seem to be doing quite well. Um, I'm going to try demanding more. Come on, Lilstrom. Let's make something happen. You know what, we've got about 10 minutes left of this half, just shy off. I'm going to go into pressing mode. I want to go back to full match too. I don't like having seen so few chances. I realise Brown are a strong team. Easy, finds Krogstad. Krogstad on the ball. Tudor, dispossessed. Salquist finds Easy. Salquist again. Again, this is supposed to be the pressing version, but instead we keep more possession. But that's fine. Amada with the ball. Egan Rismark. Out wide to Kai Mickelson. Odermark's back and with the 1-2. Two. 
Fortunately, Kine couldn't do much with it, but here we can. Mickelson brings it short. Odemark's back end. Kine Mickelson again. Fran Tudor was the potential target for that, but he didn't get to it. Lillstrom have another opportunity to ball, put the ball forward. So back in. He's looking for support. Kai Mickelson's there. Plays it short. Odemark's back in. And Coombson is on the counter-attack now for, for uh, Bran. But Egan Rismark tackles him nicely. We kind of looked slightly better, I guess, when we were playing possession on balance. So I'm going to put it back to that. I'm not saying we're playing bad that way, but... We've just conceded the corner. Arga's not having a good game, unfortunately, and neither is Fran Tudor. Oh, my goodness. Although he just cleared that. Strand's picked up the loose ball and Tudor's just fouled him. Oh, is he going to get booked? Yep, he's in the book. Come on, Fran. Let's not play this game. Jensen with the free kick for Bran. It's cleared. And as far as Wormgore. Oh, Kai Mickelson gets on it. So back in. Tudor. Tudor and Arger. The closest ones up front. Tudor with the cross. Odemark's back in with the header. Good effort. But not going in. Tudor needs to pick his game up. As does Arger. If they're uh, going to manage anything this match. I'm still on full match, aren't I? Go back to Kihi highlights. Sinian with the ball back. Amada. Egan Rismark. Odemark's back in. Easy. Kind Mickelson. Looking for the cross. It's there. Arga. Oh my goodness. He gets on the end of it. That's his 20th goal of the season. Off the head. Simon Kind Mickelson with the fabulous cross there. Great work for Easy. From Easy. To see that coming. Cross in Arga. Keeper misses it, and oh, brilliant. I said he needed to pick his game up, and he did. Didn't even have to yell at my half time. We've had five shots, four on target. We are 1 0 up, and it is coming up to half time now. There you go. They've had seven shots with only one on target, and we've had 60% of possession. So it's funny though. Fran Tudor not having a good game. He has one back possession more than any other player on our team. So I think what we're going to do is. Where is he? Oh, he's up to 6.8. He's picked his game up after that then. Well, there you go. I did say he needed to pick his game up. We're going to keep them as they are. Um, Some got says we should uh, challenge to prove a point, but... Uh, oh. Go on then. Let's, let's do the media option. There you go. People look motivated. So back in... Uh, you're doing all right, but you could be doing better, but I'm not going to say anything. We'll leave it like that, and we'll head into the second half. 1-0 up against Brown in the Norgish Meshter Cup of Final. It's very exciting. Okay, and I'm going to demand more. Just at the start, but look how motivated everybody is. That's a wonderful situation to be in. Oh, Tudor has been booked. Um, how's everybody doing? Everyone looks all right. Throw in Solquist to Arga. Fran Tudor with the cross. Odemark's back and gets on it. I really thought that was a bit of a crowd there, but no, Odemark's back and gets up and nods that home. It's his 14th goal of the season. A lot of goals from this team. A lot of goals this season. Arga to Tudor. Tudor with a lovely cross. Odemark's back and slotting it home. Kind of feel like the keeper might have been able to do better than that. Um, well, he's having a terrible game. And he Krogstad with a free kick. So back in, oh, it cannons off the post, and well, they all got a bit, uh, yeah, he's having a terrible game, isn't he, poor old Mr. Peterson. Haugen with a free kick for Brown, and it's not it, oh, Brown have pulled one back on a 70 minute mark, it's, oh, Haugen with a free kick. Martinson managed to just nod it over Amada, well, all right, well, he was on side, was he, fair enough. It was a good goal. I can't fault him for that, but let's not let him get another Solquist now. On the ball for Lilstrom. Easy. Krogstad. Sinian. Keeping possession here. Egan Rismark. 
Egan Rismark again. Come on, boys. I wonder if we should go pressing for this final bit just because. Krogstad. Ball forward for Tudor. Tudor manages a cross and Solbakken slides in to make it 3-1. 20, 21st goal of the season from Ola Solbakken. Target of Benfica. Hopefully I'll keep him for just one season in the Premiership. Just one. That's all we need. Look at that. Lovely work by Tudor. Cuts it in. Solbakken slides home. It looks like it came off the uh, defender, to be fair. But uh, look at that. We're fine. Strand to Ruben. No, I didn't even catch that. Or, yeah, big names. Bran. And if we're doing this well against Bran in a cup final, I wonder how we'll do against them in the league. Oh, my goodness. Peter Strand was having that. It's 3-2. It's 75 minutes. Yikes. Throw guard. Into the middle. Lovely work. Strand's there. Hammers it home. Lovely goal from Strand. It's back to 3-2. 75 minutes. There's still plenty of time for this to go horribly wrong. We're going back to possession again. And I'm going to demand more. Come on, Lil Strom. Let's hold on to this. Let's not Bran get back in the game. I wonder if we should go cautious. Maybe we should. Oh. Barisha coming forward for Bran. He gets past two men. Oh, and he tries the short side. And Amada is equal to it. Come on, Lilstrom. You know what? Oh, God, it's another free kick. I'm just... We've got 10 minutes left. Everybody's doing great. And maybe I shouldn't make changes. But... Is there anybody who wants to come on? Is there anybody who's tired or... You know what I mean? Needs a break, something like that. It's tough to say, isn't it? All right. You know what? Forget that. Brown with another free kick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And they've equalised. Torgier, Borven. And it's 3-3 three, three on 85 minutes. Well, crikey. All from free kicks. Look at that. Oh, my. Well, from being 3-1 up, it's now down to this. I'm going to go back to... Positive, I've gone. Come on, easy. Let's make something happen here. Tudor for Lilstrom. Fires past his man. Tries a shot. Arga was there, but definitely offside. Oh, my goodness. Show some passion, boys. Come on. Oh, God. Corner now for Bran. Bran into the middle. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Tudor. Clear it. <sighs> Panics. Solbakken. Strand's got the ball again. Bran have made quite the comeback here. I can't say that we've dropped our game because we haven't, but poor old Tudor's knackered. Oh my oh god. Goodness gracious, Amada with the goal kick is coming up to 94 minutes. We're going to be going to extra time. Unless something drastic happens and honestly Bran have all of a sudden started looking like the better team. Kai Mickelson coming forward. Odemark's back in. Kind Mickelson finds Krogstad. Easy. Krogstad tries a ball forward for Tudor. Wasn't going to happen. Over to Mark's back and puts that one out for a throw. It's 94 minutes. It's going to be end of the half soon. I can't say we've been complacent. I wonder if... Ay, 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 ay. Let's defend a bit wider. And do that and get stuck in. And see how that fares for us in the next part of the match. I really thought we'd won it. I'll not lie to you. I really thought we'd got it when we went 3 1 up. Oh, we're fine. Clearly not. Um, we have been the better team, or we were, certainly. Go on, let's show it an extra time. It's good to see you've gained confidence, but it ain't just confidence we need. Let's have a look at who's knackered out and who's not. Why am I not seeing? Oh, I see. I've got it like that, have I? Tudor's knackered. Who have we got who can come on for Tudor? Uh, well, 
BA likes to play as an advanced forward. Let's go back to team talk. I can kind of see. No, I can't. Yes, I can. I can see who's knackered there. Tudor and Easy. Well, Tong noise on the bench. Let's put him in for Easy. I wonder if I should have him on defend. No, keep it as it is. Don't muck around. Mind you, Tongnoi doesn't like a big match, does he? Well, maybe he'd be alright. For some reason, I've put a note against him, which uh, denotes that he's not good in big matches, but uh, Sinian's done alright. Solquist has done alright. Who else we got on the bench? Uh, nobody of any real note is part of the problem. Oh, my goodness. Well, Tongnoi is... Not match sharp either. Is this a smart decision? It's difficult when everybody's playing well. That's the problem. I know Tong Noi is capable of playing well in that position, although obviously there he had a terrible game. Did all right there, did all right there, did all right there. What side does he like to be on? Right, okay. Well, you're on then. Stuff it. Easy's getting a break. Tongue noise coming on. I'm going to keep him on support. We're defending a bit wider now. That's promising. I'm just, yeah, this is it. Let's go. Start the extra time. Otherwise, we'll be here all year with me humming and hiring. Let's get creative, boys. Come on. We are Lil Strom. Kai Mickelson with the corner. Oh, looked like we had an opportunity there. Rismark. Oh, my goodness, Krogstad. Almost got it in. I need to check the analyses there because um, Krogstad has been booked. And I want to make sure that he doesn't get sent off. He's off your tackle, son. Oh, oh Solquist. He's off your tackles too, mate. I don't want to... I, I, <laughs> I'm panicking now. All right. Back to the match. Corner now. Tongnoi to take it. Into the middle. Oh. Sol Bakken picks up the loose ball. Odemarks Bakken. Has a go. And it comes off the post. Or the keeper saved it. One of the two. But it's a throw in again for Lilstrom. Come on, boys and girls. I want to shout get creative again. Oh, no. Frantude is injured. Well... Okay, what does that mean exactly? Who is the best choice to come on? It probably would have been. Alrighty. Well, easy would have been a great choice. I realised that. Hagelschlar is going to swap with Odemark's backen. Just as a winger. And you're going to go as a wide playmaker on attack because you love playing as a wide playmaker. <sighs> All right, well, let's go. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we still got a sub to make. Let's get creative. Come on, Lilstrom. We can do this. Let's not take it to penalties. Oh, it's half time of extra time. Kick off for Arga. Odemark's back and on the right. Tongnoi. Krogstad finds Hagelschla. Kein Mickelson with the cross. Arga to Sol Bakken. Oh my goodness. It's 4 3. Sol Bakken. That was a lovely little goal there. Hagelschla getting the cross in. No, getting it back to Mickelson. Mickelson with the cross. Arga nodded it for Sol Bakken to hammer it home. On the volley. We'll take it. 4-3. 19 shots. 11 on target. Hagelschla with a free kick for Lilstrom. Into the middle. Sinian has a go. A little bit over and a little bit wide. Okay, I'm relaxed a bit more now. We're 1-0 up. Well, 1-0 up as far as extra time is concerned. 4-3. What, what an exciting final to go to. What an exciting look at that. Lilstrom winning extra time. 
Thanks to Solback, and it was Solback, and I think you saved us in the last tie as well. We have won the Norgish Mesterkopper. That's oh, we've technically done the double, I guess. Albeit it's not the primary; it's just getting promoted. But uh, apparently, Steiner Solberg of the Norwegian Football Messenger said, "I must admit that I personally had this one down as going to penalties." Well, look, it did not. I thought we'd won it, to be honest with you, and then they snuck back in. But an outstanding performance. In extra time, Tong Noi did all right. Hagelsla did not play enough to get a, a rate in there. But uh, well done, boys. Very, very well done. I am very passionately going to congratulate you on that. Well done. Okay, we're going to come back and have our final review and, of course, our end-of-season review because uh, we are at that point, of course. Lilsrom, celebrate a double, winning the Norgish Mesterkopper and the Obos Ligaen going up as champions. Um, it's not the same, I guess, as link winning the Elite Syrian, but uh, my plan is, in or has been in this uh, particular journeyman save, is to win a trophy and move on, but, you know, we're just going up to the Premiership now, so it's kind of like I got at least a season, I think, to go in the uh, Premiership. Um, plus, oh, I should also mention, we've received, for winning the Cup, £654,000. Um, whatever that is in Euros, I guess. Um, interestingly enough, it was a hell of a lot less than in, in the Danish League for winning the Cup. So that's, an, that's a better chunk of change. It's not real money, but, you know, it'll do. Um, the other thing to mention... There we go. Lilstrom qualify for the Euro for Europe. Well, crikey. Lilstrom qualified for the UEFA Europa Conference League, and we're going in at the second qualifying round. So that's actually quite exciting. I did wonder if we'd win the cup, we'd get in Europe, because of course that's what happened with um, uh, Esbjerg in our first season when we won the cup. Um, and obviously we were already in Europe because of how they finished previously. So that's quite exciting. That's European football for Lilstrom next season. So really quite pleased for that. Um, so yeah, we are now able to take a look at the overall best 11. Um, following the competition of this season's best 11, Rune Larsen, the Lilstrom supporter spokesperson, has proudly announced that four players have been considered good enough to enter the overall best 11. So they've still got the 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one that uh, they were playing and didn't do well for them last season. Um... Samarison's in there still. Arga is up front. I guess he must have been added. So it says here, Chris Negan, Rismark, Philip Sander, Kohlberg, Schlodal, and Ali Amada. And they've come part of the proud history. And Arga was the pick of four players. He got 36 appearances and 20 goals. As I say, we did pick him up, I believe, from Starbeck. Yes, we did. He'd obviously been in development there. And we uh, took him on and looked at... Look at how he's done. He's done all right. 17 goals, 5 assists, 6 player of the matches. Average rating of 7.48 from 30 appearances. That's obviously in the league. Um, overall, well, 20 goals in 33 games. Ain't bad. I think he got 8 maybe in the uh, cup. But anyway, it's not bad, is it? So, yeah. So, Odermark's back and left wing. Easy in Krogstad, central midfield. Gustafsson outright. Who does he play for now? Because he is not with us. Oh, he's at Esbjerg. We sold him to Esbjerg. Of course we did. We did that to start the season. I didn't remember that because obviously I didn't play for him. Play with him for very long, but uh, yeah, he uh, he went to Esbjerg. It's all a bit... What's the word? Not nepotism. That's wrong. Um, Insula. There you go. How did Esbjerg do? They finished fifth. So they're going into the champion stage, I would suggest, which means they're going to try and qualify for Europe as well. Good for Esbjerg. They obviously had a better season in the league under their current manager than they can manage under me. We did win the cup and we did do all right in Europe, but nevertheless, back to Lilstrom. Um, back four, Kai Mickelson, Kolborg Schlodal, who of course he's at Rosenborg now. Oh, Rosenborg. Who finished top? He did want to go, and I understand it. I do regret letting him go, but it is what it is. Egan Rismark, of course. Hackenstad. Where is Hackenstad? Oh, he's still... Oh, no, he's with BK Hacken. We did get rid of him, unfortunately. 
Um, but we do have a bit of a, a right back shortage because, of course, Fran Chu have it, kept having to drop back there. And Amada's in. Um, I don't think we have any other years. So this is this season. That's the overall. This season, Arger and Sol back in, of course. Odermark's back in Krogstad, Easy and Tudor, of course. Guy Mickelson, Schlordal, Rismark and Solquist. It's funny. Schlordal would probably be outright and Solquist would be in the middle, but never mind. And uh, Amada and Gal. So yeah, pretty much as expected. I'm not going to bother with before I was here. End of season awards. Fans player of the season is Ola Sol back and he got 35% of the vote. Charles Easy just behind him on 28%. And behind him, Simon Kai Mickelson on 23%. Goal of the season is Simon Kai Mickelson against Nest Sotra. Let's have a look at that goal. Oh, Odermark's back in. Egan Rismark. Kai Mickelson. Has a bit of a run. Oh, yes, it was that goal, wasn't it? From well and truly outside of the box. Places it lovely in the corner. Yeah, that was a good goal. I actually feel like maybe that should be the goal uh, I put forward for uh, goal of the month next month. Whoops, we don't need to view it again. Anyway, yeah, might put that forward for goal of the month. Okay, signing of the season, Christian Egan Rismark only costs us forty six grand. And he's been brilliant. He has been brilliant. He's been solid. Really can't fault him. I mean he even managed to get seven goals. I got strikers in other saves that can't even get seven goals. Um I mean we've scored a ton this season. We were OP. Absolutely OP for the Obusl again. But uh lovely work. And the young player of the season, Olasol Backen. Um Terms of the season review, won the August Mester Schopa, won the Obos, Obos Ligaean. We only dropped to second. Well, we started in second, apparently. A couple of times we were in second, the rest of the time we just held on on the top. Match of the season was a 4 0 against Skeed. And our moment to forget was our only loss of the season, apparently, against Starbayek. 2 1, but uh, average attendance 40% full. Hopefully, we'll improve that in the next season. And then uh, we used 24 players. Which is kind of our entire squad, I think, in terms of everybody who's registered at least. So, yeah, that was uh, pretty good. I don't think there's anything else we really need to take a look at. Um, though we will look at this. Sol Baggin has scooped the top goalscorer award for the season. Um, oh, that's the Norwegian Cup top goalscorer. It's Norges Mester Skopper to top goalscorer. That's fine. But yeah, five appearances, nine goals, one assist. Average rating of 9.04. That's pretty serious, isn't it? With Lars Peter Bredstorff Hotvet behind him. You know what? I'm going to. Who are these guys? Are they Premiership? Norsk Tipping Ligaen. He apparently did well, though. With seven goals. I feel like I'm going to scout him just for the heck of it. We'll do that. We'll have a look. Because you never know, right? And then Aki Akinyemi. He's at start. Starter uh, Elite Syria inside. Yes, they are. They went up last season or the season before, should I say. The 2019 season. So, you know what? I'm going to scout him as well. Not because we need any strikers just yet, but I think Sol Beckham will be leave leaving at some point. But, yeah, that is it. We won the cup. We won the league. We're in Europe next season. We're in the... Elite Syrian next season, the Norwegian Premier. So next time I see you, that's where we'll be. Thank you very much for watching.